look and admire the pigeon. Luc-Alain Giraldo is a scientist with a mission. He wants us to open our eyes and hearts to these remarkable creatures and regard them as he does with awe. When I was a kid, we had a pigeon coop at home, and we had to get rid of it. Uh, the neighbors complained, and I remember we didn't have a car, so my uncle came in, put the pigeons in the trunk. He had brought them out into the countryside. By the time my uncle was back, the pigeons had been in my backyard waiting <laughs> uh, for at least half an hour. That was very impressive for a little guy like me. I would say that only a, a minority of them actually get to, to build a nest, get a mate, have a, some young, and most of them die in the nest anyways because it's just cold, it's miserable, there's not enough food to feed them and so on. And then you start again the next morning. <laughs> and uh, if it snows and some, suddenly it becomes minus 20, uh, then you need even more food. So you have to plan ahead before you go to bed. You gotta make sure that you, you filled up as much as you could on food. And if the person that would normally feed you didn't come that evening, you're in deep trouble. <laughs>
made some kind of a report. This relationship between bird and human is more complex than it might look. Pigeons have learned to have lookouts, to spot and remember faces, even from a distance. They recognize people who feed them routinely long before they sit down and open a bag of breadcrumbs. They can start to recognize people by the way they walk and their routine every day. Because people tend to have routines, so they may come at lunchtime, for example, and they may feed the pigeons every lunchtime. Pigeons will wait for that individual. They can see that person coming a mile away before they even pull anything out of their bag. Scientist with a mission. He wants us to open our eyes and hearts to these remarkable creatures. that live on our streets. Most of them are never more than a few days from starvation. Job number one is finding something to eat. I would say that only a, a minority of them actually get to, to build a nest, get a mate, have a, some young, and most of them die in the nest anyways because it's just cold. It's, 